Hi guys, welcome to the Ultimate Diabetes channel, Sugar MD. Today we are talking about exercise, but this is a different type of exercise. This is a exercise that you can do while sitting without even moving from uh, with your legs. So here's the deal. I'm an endocrinologist, like most of you know, and I see a lot of patients with diabetes. I ask them, do you exercise? They say, no. I'm like, uh, why not? They'll be like, doc, you know, my hip hurts. I'm like, how about knees? Oh, got a knee replacement. Okay, well, how about your ankles? Uh, uh, they're like really very stiff. I'm like, okay, so your legs are out. They're like, yeah. I'm like, do you have arms? They're like, yeah. I'm like, do they work? They're like, yeah. I'm like, do you use them? They're like, yeah, to eat. <laughs> That's not the only reason that you have arms. So you can actually use your arms to exercise. That's what we're gonna do today, guys. We are gonna do some cardio while you are sitting using your upper body and arms. Let's get started. Hi guys, thank you for watching. Uh, quickly, I have a quiz for you in the description below. So after you watch this video, take the quiz, answer the questions, the more questions you answer correctly, the higher the chance, and one in three will win a chapter from my book. It's going to be delivered electronically to you, a real chapter from my The Ultimate Diabetes book. So go ahead, finish the video, take the quiz, and win. So guys, there's a lot of ways to do cardio and really, to be honest with you, to be able to do cardio, you need some music, just like that. All right, so guys, you gotta have some music, some tempo going, you know, like I cannot do cardio in silence. I cannot do cardio. Some people do cardio while watching TV and stuff, but I mean, come on, you know, it's if you're walking, maybe, but doing a real cardio to get your heart rate up is not gonna happen for a long time unless you kind of have a beat going. Now, so that's not, you know, just choose some music that you will like. Now, let's get started. So, in terms of like doing something, even if you're wheelchair bound, even if you cannot even get up from your seat, you can do things to get your heart rate up. And this is the key. Some people say, oh, I walk my dogs. I'm like, that doesn't count because your heart doesn't, your heart rate does not go up when you walk your dogs. Your dog probably stops like every 10 feet. You're stopping with the dog that's not gonna work out you have to get your heart rate up and keep that heart rate up at least you know i don't know you can if you can do you know 10 minutes at a time great if you can do an hour at a time great uh it's really not necessarily different if you do like 10 minutes in three times a day versus 30 minutes at a time doesn't make a whole lot of difference so since upper body and arms uh, you know may not be as fun as the legs i would say you know uh, you can still stick with 10 minutes but you know what 10 minutes is 10 minutes better than nothing if you can get your heart rate up so let's look at my heart rate right now my heart rate right now measuring My heart rate is actually is high. It's like at 75. Normally my resting heart rate is at 54. Like when you're in the bed or resting, etc. So we're going to get this heart rate up, okay? So what we're going to do is, depending on your health and fitness level, of course, you should be able to get your heart rate up comfortably at least around 110, 120 without really putting a lot of strain to your heart. I don't recommend going up to 140, 160 kind of heart rate if you're not fit. But right now, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna watch on the Apple Watch, see how these exercises can help you. Now, I have some stretch bands here. You know, these stretch bands actually come in different resistance, right? So, as you can remember, we talked about this before. So you can do resistance training. Uh, and if, you, if your resistance is high, of course, that, that's a good thing, you know, you're building muscle. But if the resistance is low and with the high repetition, you can turn that resistance into cardio. Uh, because if you're not taking breaks, you know, that muscle movement will give you uh, the heart rate. 
Uh, and then there are different resistance levels with these as well. So start easy, start uh, slow. You're gonna end up getting nice big arms, you know? That's, these exercises are really gonna get you somewhere. Don't think that it's gonna go to waste. So let's get started with, you know, I'm gonna get into this in a second, but let's get started without this. And I'll show you how to do, how to use these as well. So simple, right? Even if you don't have a stretch bands, you have your arms, you can move them. So you can actually do march as well. So here's what I'm gonna show you. So if you wanna do march and you wanna have some tempo going, you know, that's, that's not bad. If that's like too easy for you, uh, although if you keep doing this, you're gonna realize that your heart rate is actually going up. You're gonna be like, huh, it, it's, it looks easy, but look, if you keep repeating that, it's gonna really get your heart rate up. And if you feel like that's still too easy, you can get like some dumbbells, like two pounds, five pounds, not too heavy. And you can kind of get these going, you know, that's possible as well. And then if you're tired of this, you wanna change some, you know, some, uh, some moves, you can start doing, for example, this kind of movement, you know, get your arms up, cross it up, you know, as like you're a police officer, you're stopping people. Hey, stop, 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 right? Keep going and you're going to get your heart rate up. I guarantee you, you're going to get your heart rate up. How difficult is that, right? Everybody can do this. So you can do that, right? You can move your arms just like that and your heart rate is gonna go up. If you don't believe me, I'm gonna actually start checking my heart rate right now let's get this going here it's gonna be measuring my heart rate while i'm doing this okay and all right so you you can keep doing that now you're tired of this my heart rate is still going there oh it's already like up to 90. so see it's kind of going up and you know of course you can you can you can do uh, this type of movement, you know, that's gonna open up your chest, and uh, you can you can do that or you can do this, right? So get some music going on and get these arms moving, man. Move it, move it, move it. All right. Now resistance bands. These are very nice because that kind of makes it a little bit more fun, and also gives you a little bit of a tone on your arms, right? So what you can do is this. So you hold it like that, right? The simplest way, just stretch it, stretch it. You don't, you don't have to do like this because that's really, you know, defeats the purpose, purpose. So you can stretch it, bring it back, stretch it, bring it back. See, when I'm talking, my, I'm not able to almost make complete sentences. That tells you that you're actually getting, getting to moderate intensity exercise. If you can still talk to someone while you are doing all this, that means that you're not doing anything. So you should be able to have your breathing cut off while you're exercising. So this is what you're doing right now. So another thing you can do, if you're gonna put your arm like this, all you have to do, use one hand as the fixing point and the, the other hand can do all sorts of movements, right? So this is going up and down. You can do this. Right, and uh, same thing with the other arm. Again, so if you change the range of motion, if you change the position, the muscles that you're working also will change. So instead of doing this, for example, if you do that, right? So you are going to be working your back of back your back muscles. You will feel it. It's gonna start burning. So you're gonna know exactly what muscles are working. So, uh, you can do that. So what else? If you wanna work a little bit off your back, you can definitely go there and then, you know, you can stretch like just like this, right? Another alternative to that, you can put it right here, like this. One, one again, hand is fixing that and you can lift it up like this. So, again, this is gonna give you different type of muscles, especially on your shoulders. Now, a lot of people, as we get older, end up getting rotator cuff injury, either because you're lifting something or or you're hitting your shoulder somewhere, and then you have a permanent damage. But if you do this kind of movements and keep your shoulders strong and scapula strong, you're going to have much less likely to be injured. All right, so what else? So you can actually use your triceps and biceps with these 
uh, stretch the band, the stretch bands. So how do you do biceps? Very easy, right? So think about like the gym, you're not at the gym, but what do you at the gym really? You're just doing curls, right? So if you're doing curls, what you have to do, put that band under your, under your foot, and then here you go. Now you got a curl, see that? So if you can increase the resistance on that, which this is too light for me, let's just go for something a little heavier with the resistance. So you'll be able to do, see, that gives you more resistance. Now let's do some triceps, this is biceps, and you can do that on both feet. Now, how do you do triceps? Again, you are going to fix one end with one hand, and all you have to do is this movement, watch. So you're gonna hold it like this and then push it back, right? This is what you're doing when you are at the gym, right? So, what else you can do? You can actually hold your hand again like this, and then you can bring it down, that again works your triceps. So you can do the same thing with the other hand. So if you do not take breaks, like normally people who are lifting heavy, they take breaks because they have to, because their heart rate goes crazy otherwise, but if you are getting your heart rate up to a level and you are keeping at that level without lifting excessively or putting excessive resistance in the stretch bands, I think you will be able to burn a lot of calories. You're gonna start sweating. You are going to feel like your heart rate is up. And at the end of the day, you are going to feel good about yourself. And those guys who talk about this, this spikes my blood sugar, that spikes my blood sugar, because they are not burning it. If you are not burning those calories, everything is gonna spike your blood sugar. Even a protein meal will spike your blood sugar. So stop complaining about food. Of course, I'm not talking about, you know, junk or don't eat junk food, but stop complaining about the food God, God has given you. Uh, stop blaming the apple, stop blaming the pear. These are good food. You just need to learn how to process those foods that bring you a bunch of antioxidants, vitamins and minerals that your body needs. So, guys, I hope that was helpful. And if you like this, please give a like, share, and we'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.